Hello, darling. It's Jean. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you're not, I hope this video helps you feel better and feel more relaxed and feel more loved. I'm infusing my video to you with love and healing and kindness. And I'm sending that energy out to you. And in every one of my videos, please share them. I appreciate it so I can reach and help more people. Today, I wanted to talk to you about feelings of frustration, anger, um, depression, being touchy and irritable. I, I seem to have really bad moments during the solar flares and mercury retrograde. And other things that affect me in different ways is full moons, especially super moons. I get super excited and, oh, you know... <laughs> When it's a super moon, I go out, you know, I want to go dancing out underneath it. And um, it's kind of like I'm hyperactive. It fuels me. I can't sleep. And, and it just, um, yeah, it's intoxicating and very powerful. And I have like a personal relationship with the moon. It's The moon brings me comfort. It's a sign of gentle, um, soft, feminine love. Um, it's very steady. It's, you know, when you look at the moon, the things you think of the moon is just, it's a beautiful light on its own, but it's a soft light. And it has um, influences over the earth and living things around it, but it's a gentle, kind of unnoticed, unappreciated, down, um, downplayed influence. So I, I look at the moon as tried to, as like my focal point on what I want to be like and how I can treat situations and you know it just makes me kind of relax and <sighs> breathe you know <laughs> especially a full moon and um, we just had some solar major solar flares again today uh, well this past week actually and last month and um, it seems to make me very grouchy. It makes my pain level severely high. And when I'm in a lot of pain, it makes me tired. I really don't feel good. And the physical effects wear me down mentally. So I'm very I'm very grouchy. I don't want to be around people and they irritate me. Um, things that I normally overlook or I don't pay attention to or I ignore altogether. And I don't let bother me really get under my skin, you know. Um... My favorite example is people that are argumentative or, or they, um, they have to have everything their way and they're very controlling. Usually I just, you know, whatever that's them, I understand that's a that thing they need to learn and go through and process on their own. And I can be a guide and help persuade them in, my, in a gentle and kind way when, and um, tough love when needed. But normally it doesn't bother me. But during those time frames of things like solar flares... Uh, yeah, I, I have to work very, very hard on being calm and patient and, and it's, it's hard. So what I do in these times when stuff like this really gets me down or I'm very irritable and I'm like a few seconds away from snapping is I will go out. I have a place that I go out to, um, in the woods and I take my shoes off and I walk in the sand in the woods and on trails that I know all day long. Uh, I don't care if it's hot, it's cold, it's raining, I walk. And I let the earth heal me. And the life from the plants and the trees, if it's really bad, I'll hug a tree or two, uh, wash the birds and the bugs and listen to the sounds of nature and just let the beautiful, pure energy from nature soothe the burn you know, just soothe and heal. And sometimes I'll stay uh, alone by myself for a couple days and just, I don't, because I don't need to talk to anyone. I need time for myself to heal. I need to release that bad energy and I need to renew with pure element energy. Um, sometimes in the summer, especially, I'll go to the nearest lake, river. Don't really like the beach very much because I burn because I'm very pale. But a river or a stream, and I'll float in it and just let the water hold me, you know, like that. Uh, if you have a beach or a river in your area, go lay in the sand. Uh, uh, again, if it's cold, 
take blankets and, and wrap up and just wash, wash the sunrise or the sunset or whatever and just be alone. If it's hot, swim in it, whatever. If, you, if you're not in an area like New York City or something like that that doesn't have rivers and lakes and streams or something that you can swim in that's safe to be in, go find a nature park and walk in it or sit on the bench and just just be just breathe and be you don't have to, you need to clear your mind of things that you have to do today or the people or the situations you need that time to stop and heal and be out in nature as much as possible if it's fire like everybody has a certain element fire is soothing to me as all, all I have a fire pit I can burn in if you don't you know um if you if you're in a city or area that where you can't have fires, you don't have land for that. Maybe if you can get one of those um, small fire pits at a garden store, Walmart, something like that, go on the roof and have a personal fire on the roof of your building that's contained. Please be safe at all times. Fire extinguishers, water hose, whatever. Don't let it get out of control. No matter where you do it, if it's just in your little fire safe glass bowl in your kitchen sink and you need to burn write a letter of how you feel and get all your mean and horrible terrible emotions burn it in a bowl in your sink in your kitchen whatever um if it's a trees in nature that you love go out and do that if it's animals that help you and again you're not in an area where you can be in nature like that go to an animal shelter um a horse arena uh you know whatever somewhere you can actually volunteer or touch and hold animals um, if a friend has a cat or a dog, go snuggle with their animals and you know, and sit down and have hot chocolate or coffee or wine or Pepsi or whatever. Um, I I deal with it while bad being alone in nature, but you need to think of how you can release and recharge on your own. And it doesn't have to be huge. Go on a walk on your own just to be by yourself, okay? And you need to empty your mind of all those things. And they're, honestly, they're not that that important. You know what I mean? You really, really need to recharge. It's very important to you. And my best way is if you are unhealthy and you're broken down and there's something wrong with you, how can you help others if you are unwell? You know, and you don't want to have fights and arguments that will cause more pain and take more time to heal and isolate you further and stress you out more. So before you reach that point... Find some way to, to recharge and renew. And it, sometimes you need to be alone for a few minutes. And that's okay. Turn your phone off. Leave it in the apartment. Um, and just, you know, just, or just turn the ringer down all the way until you're finished, until you're relaxed. And it could take up to a week. It can be a month that you need to be alone or be away from these people. And if they don't understand... That's fine. You tell them uh, if you don't understand, that's fine. You that you need these time for yourself too, but it's something I have to do to heal me. And if you under and if you understood, you would, you would you would not be on me about it. And you know, it might give you some perspective about the important people in your life. Now, I'm not saying cut yourself off completely for a month because then that that does upset people. They worry and they might get you admitted to the nut farm, but. You know what I mean. Just just once a week say I'm fine, still meditating, whatever. But do, it's it's important as humans because it's very hard to stay loving and gentle and kind when there's so many things and people that are hurting you or they may or may not do it on purpose, but please take this time and I love you. I'm thinking of you. I'm sending my energy to you. Please share this video. It's Yin Moon on YouTube, Jeans Pet Rock on Twitter. Uh, you can send me a message on Facebook at Jeans Pet Rock as well. Um, don't freak out if I don't get back right away. Sometimes they go in my other folder and I don't see that for a few days. So, mm, Thank you so much.